Hey guys, um, I was watching the Affinity Studio demonstration earlier now that they've been bought by Canva and they've combined publisher, designer and photo into one app and um, I was sitting there thinking I wonder if that will work the same way that Affinity Designer or Affinity Photo works on Linux using the elementary wine and it turns out it works really well so I thought I'd create a little demonstration on how to get it installed on Linux Mint which you can probably adapt to the other versions of Linux so I'll just give you a quick demo on it running so I use a program called Lutris which is like a store for all the different virtualize well not virtualization all the different compatibility layers of like wine and um, so here is the it's got its own version of wine pre-installed but we're going to install a version called elementary wine which is like a modified version of wine and you also install it using a script so we need three things we need the affinity studio installer from the official site the elementary wine um, software and then a script to install it but um, I'm just going to show you it running before we go through the whole process so here's Affinity Studio here and if you hit play you'll see it launch and how well it works on first impressions I mean I've not thoroughly tested it because it's only come out this evening so I've been quite quick just to uh, give you a demo so you guys can try it out for yourselves but yeah it seemed to launch quickly earlier I'm, I'm running this on an old surface book first gen so that's why my webcam isn't working that great you might find it's a little bit flickery but yeah I wanted to get it out there so right this is Affinity Studio running so if we just create like an A4 document here as you can see here now you've got vector which would have previously been Affinity Designer, Pixel, which would have previously been Affinity Photo, and Layout, which would have previously been Affinity Publisher. So we'll go to Pixel, and I'll just zoom in here. Let's go File, and we'll place like an image. Um, we'll just go to my home directory, grab any image. Uh, da -da -da, home. Got a few of these files on the desktop. So radio job, just grab a picture of a radio from a recent photography job. And we'll place that. So here just scale these are quite big 24 megapixel files. So you can turn on GPU acceleration as well in the menu I noticed. I did try really quickly, but um yes yeah, so we drop drop this in here and let's go back to the vector layout. Maybe add a star shape from this menu. So if we go square here, I don't know. Add a star. Maybe add a gradient to the star. Fill gradient, just drag that across. Um, I don't know, just hit T and find the text box. It's working. Well, it's e working, <laughs> but you get the gist. Anyway, so there you go. It seems to be working. So we'll close out of that. And um, what you need to do first is download Lutris. So if you go to your application manager, or software manager, sorry here launch that and install Lutris which is your compatibility layer store so you can install more than one version of wine and any other kind of compatibility layer that you may use whether it's for games or software so yeah we'll do a search for Lutris so I've got mine installed but you basically click there and then install it which would be up here. Once that's installed, you'll go to your home directory. 
and then to local, then share, and then you would find Lutris and runners, which is your compatibility runners, layers, so wine. And in this one, you would put elementary warrior wine. So I'll show you this was basically downloaded off of the internet but I'll, I'll give you a link to that in the YouTube description but basically it will download elementary warrior wine here as like a zip and you just extract the folder so double click that and just drag it we can I you can extract it to this downloads folder first and then copy and paste it into the wine folder oh, my hard drive is making a funny noise there so I think that might have to go back right so there's the extracted folder I've got mine in download setup files but it'd just be in your downloads if you've just downloaded it but yeah I'll put a link to this in description so copy and then paste in local share Lutris runners wine at the top menu you can see the path there so that's that done and there'll be one more link in the description of this video and that will be for this setup file here called affinity-eu.yaml which is like a, a configuration script telling elementary wine how to install affinity so that it works properly basically so now let's go back to Lutris here and what you would do you'd click wine and you would click the plus sign here install from a local install script go to your downloads in my case I've put it in a setup folder so setup files select this script and when you click install it will automatically say okay you want to use the elemental warrior wine which we just copied into that folder you click install and then you would this will be the name of the folder which it installs into so we call it affinity studio new and then you click continue then you just got to find the setup file which you will download from the affinity studio website so in my case i go back to setup files and you've got the affinity x64 exe here and then you click install So that's that installing. Now we get to go to the browser, like I said before. I mean, I should have showed you this before, but basically go to Google Affinity Studio. Go here. Click Get Affinity. Sign up to download, which Affinity is permanently free now as well. And I've logged in. You have to create a Canva account, but once you're in, continue. and just download for Windows MSI EXE MSI X might work but I know the EXE definitely did so that was that was where I got the file so anyway yeah let's go back to that file installed in here it'll go through all this um, script and text which is normal and um, I'll jump forward in a second because this took about 10 minutes on my surface book anyway I'll go through all the commands and it'll install wine tricks and it might come up with a few text lines that look like errors but they're not really errors and then you'll get your windows install prompt in which you just go continue next install uh, i can't really do it now because i've already got it installed but once it is installed after you've clicked continue at the windows style prompt you would go you'll have a button like this that says affinity studio or whatever you chose to call it and you would right click go to configure you'd go to game options because this software is 
designed for games really so but you'd, you'd go to game options and then you'd select executable and then you just browse to the path of where you installed it which would be home games affinity studio drive c program files affinity affinity again and then the executable affinity.exe this is the actual installed file that you've just watched it do but it, it for some reason when it installs it it doesn't remember the path you've got to find it but anyway, once that's done you just save that and then you just hit play within the app and then it will load and voila we are in so just click the document and full screen it you can go to edit settings performance and select your graphics card as well so um, you can get GPU acceleration I tried it earlier it seemed to work but yeah that's that will get you started now you can right click on this and say add to application menu but you might find you have two in the application menu one will just be called affinity and then the other one will be called whatever you named it here so affinity studio or affinity studio my install but that second one on the menu may not have an icon you might have to right click it and go into properties and select the icon but if you use the other affinity icon that will just launch in default wine not elementary wine and then it won't load properly so you've got to make sure you use the right shortcut or to be safe always launch Lutris and run it from here hope that makes sense but um, I might make a little reel on what I mean but it's a bit hard to show you at the moment because I've already got it installed and set up so for simplicity just run it from Lutris for now but yeah hope that gets you started and let me know how you get on in the comments and if you need any help just drop a comment and I'll try my best to help you. All the best.